Okay, so uh, first what we did is we just took a five gallon pail, we went to the Scugog and we collected some water. Who collected the water? Sean collected the water. Thank you. You filming? Yep. All right, so what we're doing now is just a little pre-filtering, just to get all the major chunks, the major chunks out. And then uh, we filtered it through our sand filters, which I was, like, we studied it in school, but I was really, truly amazed at what a good job it did, and uh, our figures show that. The left is the water that is run through the sand filter, and the right is unfiltered scugog. After the water is filtered through the sand, uh, two liters took approximately 25 minutes. We uh, transferred it with a clean container to the distiller and created a boil. Once it was boiling, uh, allowing a few minutes to burn off any VOCs, hydrocarbons that may be present in the water. So boiling for a minimum of two to three minutes is recommended. Then we placed the lid onto the pressure cooker to maintain the boil and to start pressurizing the steam. What we've got here is a pressure release valve and we want to make sure that uh, we, we're not losing pressure through there so I just... Just block it with a little piece of cardboard. Close it like such. So that should keep things from escaping from there. I had to get this really hot in order for, for this to fit on there snug like that. And once it's heated you could, uh, the metal will be pliable so it will fit. You just snug it on there like that. The steam will rise and it gets cooled through the bucket. Now in order to form a seal right here, you could use anything you want. Um, try to make sure, like I, I'm using uh, flour dough. It's organic, it's uh, and it'll, it'll bake right on there. You can eat it when you're done if you're starving. Um, we just form a seal like so. Now that will harden and uh, prevent us from losing any precious steam. Once the steam's been generated, it will be forced through our copper pipe and into the condenser, which is filled with cold water. And in this bucket, um, we've got filled up with cold water. This could be dirty water from anywhere because we're not drinking. Um, so we've coiled our coil. You can see, if you look down in the bucket, going around in a circle like that. We try not to get it touching the plastic up there because this does get quite hot. And uh, to seal the, uh, around the bottom here, we just use some uh, crack seal. It, it's uh, putty, clay. Because this is not a perfect seal, we've got a slight leak. We've tied this around there so that any water will hit this and drip down and not go into our receiving jar right there. Now from that point, once the water has recondensed into a liquid, it will come out the bottom of the condenser and drip into the activated carbon filter. What we have here is a activated carbon filter. You can purchase this from a pet store used for the larger aquariums. They use activated carbon to help clean their water. From our condenser, it will be the, the condensed water will pour into the uh, cylinder and then it will be deposited into our PET 500 bottle. A membrane, a coffee filter membrane, was used to make sure that none of the uh, filter particles end up into our sample bottle. From there, it should be drinkable. Okay, so what we did is we did two tests. We did one with a Scugog River and we did a second test where we threw in copious amounts of road salt into our sample. We're gonna make it really salty. Really salty. Salty old dog! Sure, Billy. Ready? Rolling? Okay. You're rolling. Here we go. Well. Yeah, that's fine. Nothing wrong with that. That was Here. salt water. We wanted to see how this would work on seawater as well. And as you can see by our results, uh, they were, it was a very effective way to uh, desalinize the water. As you can see, our test sample is nearly complete. 
So what we need to do now is to cap it so nothing can be added and we can send it off to the lab to see how effective our treatment really is. After we obtained all the samples we needed, Sean and I conducted a battery of tests to determine just how effective our water purification system really is. Here's our results.